Joining us now is uh, Love Inc. Executive Director Patricia Shapira, and uh, we're here to talk about an exciting program that's going on. Are introductions in order, or uh, you uh, two? Uh, I, don't I don't know this so. woman at all. <laughs> <laughs> Never met her in my life. Um, <laughs> hi, Patricia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So uh, let's start off by talking about the uh, the Double Your Dollars campaign. It kicked off on the 18th, runs through October 18th. Yep. Um, what does that mean to Double Your Dollars? Um, so what we do, it's our annual campaign where we um, get money from some of our donors throughout the year and they place it in this pool so we can say, like, you know, if we can start off with $5,000 and we can double that. Mm -hmm. And so normally we get about $10,000 to start off that campaign to double it. Wow. Um, this year donations are down. Mm -hmm. So it's more important than ever because the needs are really great. We're seeing a lot of folks in the Connection Center who are homeless. Um, and it's just, it's really important to us this year, you know, more than ever. I do know a lot of folks are also struggling with higher prices and, and inflation and stuff, and everybody is feeling the pinch for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm glad you brought that up because since COVID, it seems like when the needs are greater, the donations go down. And because, every, like you said, everyone's feeling the pinch. Yep. Um, so what do people need to do where what route should people take if they want to donate to the cause um, they can I mean one of the things we're really trying to do right now is just educate the community on what we do because we've been around since 2007 and um, we really make a big impact because we're all about relationships and yes. so we want to try to get as many people as we can to know about the Connection Center to reach out to find out the good things that we're doing we're partnering with um, Oxford Township and we're the administrators now of Meals on Wheels for Oxford and Addison we're always looking for new ways to give back to the community and um, I would invite folks who want to give back locally because there is a lot of need in our local communities, you know, to reach out to us and, and find ways to either be a board member, a volunteer, a grant writer, um, a donor, because we need all of those folks right There's now. We would love graphic, to have them. Uh, on the screen that lists some of the things that you might help a family with. Yeah, There's absolutely. donation and then talk about some of those things. What what does Love Inc. help a family in need do? Yep, so when they come into the Connection Center, we want to get a full picture of why they've come in to visit us because typically it's not just one instance that's happened in their lives. And so we take about an hour to figure out exactly how we can use the resources that we have to help them get out of the situation that they're in. So if we're able to help um, you know, give $500 as half of a deposit, you know, on a new place to live. We want to show them how they need to be also responsible for what they're doing and work together with us so we can help show them a different way. Right. I know when, when people are in need, it, it's very humbling and even difficult to ask for assistance. What would you say to a family who's in need, but maybe the mother or father is, is too proud to ask for help? What would you say to them? Um, Every, and I love this because I've talked about this before, we have all been through difficult times in our lives and it's just being able to share with people that there's no shame in it, that nobody can do anything alone. I mean, you always have to reach out to somebody else and there's never any judgment. We have hearts to, to give, to share, to love, and we want to do that when people come in. There's never any shame in it because there are some resources that people might not know about. If they've never been in that situation before, how would they know where they need to turn? And we're, you know, we have all those resources available that we can share with them and we can pray with them if they're open to that because that's one of our hearts. It's just we have hearts to give and there's never any shame in asking for help. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're kind of like a thread that connects a lot of churches in the area. And, one thing that I love, I see these flyers all over about how churches will provide meals on certain mm -hmm. days of the week. No questions asked. If, right. you're, if you're hungry, come in and have a meal. Yep. Well, talk about that program. And, and again, you know, someone might be coming up just short of payday Absolutely. and might not eat or have the money to eat on a Thursday, you know, or whatever. Yep. Talk about that, that program to make sure that, you know, tummies are full. 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, if, if your basic needs are not being met, then we can talk to you about budgeting, but that's not going to work <laughs> if you're hungry, right? right? And so we will talk to you about, you know, how to budget your money, but we um, started the program with our uh, churches back when we started Loving back in 2007, and it's just a way to bring people together, and the churches have, you know, congregations that want to give back, and that's an easy way to give back. And that's one of the, you know, that's one of the many resources in terms of food that we can share with folks. You know, if, if as part of the program, you don't have enough to eat, what we'd like to do is, you know, we'd like to figure out how you can move some of your resources around, how we can contribute to some of those resources, but also what you can do for yourself to help feed your family. So you can save your money by going to a meal, and then that can help you pay for a bill along with what we're able to help you with. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, I wanted to interject something here because we, um, every year when we have the, the American Bloom people come, um, one of the things that they were always, um, for the three years that they've been here, one of the things that they um, find really fascinating about this area is the amount of um, food resources that there are and how connected people are. So we took them downtown to um, United Methodist Church and they were um, getting their dinner ready for the night. I'm not, I can't remember what they were having, but it smelled really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they were like, you know, the, all these wonderful volunteers inside of there just getting it ready. Like, how many people are you expecting? Eh, we don't know. We just maybe it could be 10, could be 100. We don't know, but we are going to feed everybody that comes through. Mm -hmm. But that was one of the things that they were really impressed by um, was just, they said, nobody in Orion goes hungry, it looks like. And yep. and it was like, mm, yeah, I mean, there there are plenty of resources, but, you know, if somebody's new to the area or they don't know where to go, you know, Absolutely. The, the more that they can understand about those resources, the yeah. better. And they do they do serve about 120 people a week. Mm. Yep. Wow. And yep. then on Monday mornings, there's Forgotten Harvest, mm -hmm. and you know Matt Pfeiffer is really involved in that, and he says yep. every Monday morning there's a line of cars. Hundreds of them still. And it's it's shocking to me, you know. I mean, and I, I've said this before, but you know, Oakland County is widely known as being one of the wealthiest counties yep. in the nation, not just Michigan. Mm -hmm. And yet there are long lines yep. of cars that forgotten harvest and people coming to the churches for meals. And you think that shouldn't happen in this society, but we should be grateful for the organizations that do help those in need. Right. Yep, and don't forget about Oxford Orion Fish. Of course. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, we help <laughs> them we out every that. year with our <laughs> food truck. But they do great things in the community. Absolutely. So. Yeah, and yeah. we have um, it's just a, a love story recently that I wanted to share. We had someone come in, and for anonymity, I'm not going to say, you know, man or woman, but they came in um, with a family member, and we said, you know, we gave them a suggestion. Hey, you know what, if you want to make it easier for yourself, we can help you with these resources, but what you need to do is there, there's a particular, uh, we partner with a particular business, and we said, hey, why don't you go reach out to this business, get a job, have your family member consider this different place, they actually, we were so, th like it brought us to tears. This person took our advice, um, went to the place, applied for a job, got the job. Their family member did the same thing and we were thrilled. They called back to say thank you and we're like, no, you're doing all the hard work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We yeah. want to teach people that will move alongside them, but we want to teach them to be self-sufficient. Just use our resources when they need to and then just you know move up and out of the situation that they're in. I think That's sometimes awesome. people feel when they get into that position sometimes they can feel paralyzed by mm -hmm. you know here, here's you know this is the situation I'm in and it may you know be a five-pronged small five-pronged problem right. but which do I do first what do I take care of first do I do this first that first this first so it's really nice and I know that when they call you know, there are a lot of different kinds of resources and, and, and counseling, or not counseling, but like. We do count, we do send yeah. people to counselors, so that well, is yeah. a resource as well. But I mean like the budgeting part of it. Like yes. some people don't, un some people don't understand. They just don't, they weren't taught right. when they were growing up, or, or, or it's just, you know, their brain doesn't, you know, compute whatever. There's so yeah, so um, just to have those kinds of um, it, not just here's a check for $500 to help you, it's, hey, what's the systemic issue here and how, how else can we help you fix it? So, you know, you know that, that suffocating feeling of what do I do first is, is I think, greatly, um, you know, relieved if you call Love Inc. because there are people that can help you with all of those separate prongs of the problem. Yeah, and I think one of the things that um, we found is people just really want to be heard. 
Sure. Um, they want to they want to be able to take that time and have somebody listen to them where they feel that they're not being judged. Yep. And just and we've got our our intake volunteers. We're really blessed with folks who just want to to listen to someone, you know, and and make them feel heard. And I think that that goes a long way. Absolutely. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that that parable about uh, teaching a man to fish, sort of a thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can you can feed people, and that's great. But if you teach them to, you know, fend for themselves, that mm -hmm. goes a long way. Absolutely. Yeah. Now you have a correct me if I'm wrong. You have a program I think coming up in a month or two, where, like I think it's every week you ask people to donate specific items. Is that is that coming up soon? So we do a gift card drive okay. um, towards the end of the year because. Um, it's lovely for people to give at Christmas, but there is need all year round. Right. And so we love to have, it, it was nice we used to do, we used to collect things, but we found that it was more meaningful for people if we were able to give them the option, you know, with those gift cards to purchase what was important for them and their family all year oh, sure. round. So we're starting that probably in November. I actually just spoke to Matt Pfeiffer, and he said we can put one of our collection boxes at Northern Flooring. There you so. go. There you go. Awesome. Yes. Um, so yes. people can go to the store, pick a gift card, go through the register, and then drop it off at Northern um, Actually, so yeah, that's exactly it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. They can go to Meyer, Kroger, wherever you want to get that, that gift card from, and then drop it off. And we'll have some more information about that when it's coming in the next month. <laughs> can I, get people I wanna, to start thinking about yes, it. Yes, absolutely. Thank there, you. There's something else that um, I wanted to bring up because, you know, with nonprofits, it's really interesting. If people don't, you know, really have any uh, experience with how nonprofits work, um, it's nice to have a steady flow of cash every single month that you can count on. Yes, please. So uh, you also have the ability to receive um, monthly donations from people. We do. And I actually do that. I set it up, you know, very easily on the website. This is how much I'm donating every single month. Yep. It becomes one of my bills. It just goes into my budget spreadsheet, which is my favorite thing. Um, and, and it just automatically comes out every month. I get an email. Thank you very much. It's already come out. And at the end of the year, I get a lovely letter from you that says this is how much you've donated and all of that. But it's it's, you know, if, if even just 100 people gave, you know, a small amount every single month, that's Absolutely. guaranteed money that they can, you know, plan, uh, you know, certain things for. So if, if you don't want to, you know, if, even if it's like, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars a month. That makes a huge impact on our organization. Huge. Absolutely. Huge. And then we can focus on the good work that we're doing because... Right. We're doing really great work. We love what we do. We have hearts to serve and doing something like allowing us to, to create those new programs. We're actually uh, investigating what it would be like to have a resale shop um, that would provide some ongoing income and also when folks came in um, and needed help, we could tie it like as an incentive hey you know if you can go into the resale shop and work for three or four hours then mm. we would we would tie that to their help so that we could actually you know move them you know forward and where they are so we're investigating that so we'll see if god well, has that it in our yeah. plan yeah we That's do too great. We do too. We need a building <laughs> for a zero dollar lease. I think for that's what it's called. If you, you know what? And that's another. That's another good thing because I know we've talked about that. If anybody out there, you know, has has retail space or you know office space or whatever that you, because if you're if you own a business and you own a space and you you let a nonprofit use it for like a dollar a month, you can write the rest of it off. Yeah. And you would know because that's your business. I agree. <laughs> we think so. <laughs> we think so. I have an idea I might share with you after this. Ooh, show. I'm yeah. sticking around. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And then, of course, you have uh, a major fundraiser. Uh, talk about that. We do. Oh, my goodness. You're asking about all these things that are happening We're next the whole year. year. No, it's good. That's fantastic. Um, I think it's going to be in April. It's going to be at Indian Wood again. Yeah. Actually, I know it's going to be in April, and it is at Indian Wood. Um, it's it's our signature um, yearly event, and it's just one of the ways that we're trying to introduce new people to Love Inc. Mm. You know, we we share some stories about our impact over the years, and over that particular year, and just you know try to invite new community members to share the the great stuff that we're doing. That's it's awesome. a lot of fun. Yes. 
You, you can like get it. paddle happy with those. Oh yes, 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 yes. Then it, no, with the, oh, auction. the auction, auction oh. items. Oh. Yes, yeah. there are silent auction mm -hmm. and live auction items. Mm -hmm. Yes, I got a little out of control at the live auction myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're going to Port Aransas, <laughs> Texas. Yeah, I am going to Texas. Dug on it. <laughs> you won the uh, Texas. Print? I did. Yeah, I one of our excited. board members' daughters uh, donated that to yeah. us. Wow. Yeah, I think there was actually two weeks this year. Um, so two yeah, people were they, allowed they added, to use exactly. it. Yeah, and we're because trying to go between. big. Yeah. Have you booked it yet? I haven't booked it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to my friend in North Carolina, and she's we're trying to arrange that because I haven't seen her in a while. But oh, yeah, I tell you what. Fun. But having you stand next to me was probably the most <laughs> pressure I'd ever had. It was like, oh, I'll I keep better. that in mind for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Give it your looks. Paddle down. <laughs> Paddle up. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So all right, so all these events we talked about, you can find them on the website. Tell us about your website. Yeah, lovingofnoc.org. Um, it's new and improved. We actually got that done about six months ago. So you'll gotcha. find what the current events are, a little bit about our mission. Um, we're actually working with our, Nor our um, national organization for, they've got lots of graphics and lots of new communication information that we're trying to put on the website to make it look more professional. So I think we've managed to do that too. And I'm sure there's a donate button somewhere. There is, there is a donate button, yes. Thank you for bringing us back to donations. I didn't <laughs> want to keep going back to that, but we would certainly appreciate the community support. Um, because we service, you know, this area. And I know a lot of people, if they knew exactly what we did, would be inclined to want to help out that way. So that's either, you know, financial donations or, you know, volunteering, coming into our Connection Center. I'm always happy to meet people, take them out for a cup of coffee, just, you know, cast a vision of what we're doing and, and our passion for it. Well, you're doing great things in the community. It's Thank just, you. It's great. We love it. Thank you for everything you guys do. Our pleasure. That's what we try to do is help okay. get the word out, spread yeah. the word. So. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for coming out today. Thank and, you for uh, having me. Good luck with your, your double the dollars campaign. Thank you. We'll see you again soon.